Hello, hello. Welcome to what is essentially the director's commentary and behind-the-scenes look at Jurassic Park 3 in Jurassic World Evolution 2. I really don't know what else to call it. The primary focus of this video is going to be the skins and patterns of the dinosaurs that I used, along with a couple things for those of you who don't have access to mixed eras and scattered throughout uh, I'm just going to be talking about the different things that I did to make the video and whatnot. So, uh, first things first, the skins and patterns are going to pop up randomly throughout the video. I uh, guess I should reword that. They're going to pop up primarily when the dinosaurs first appear, uh, for the most part. So, uh, bear with it. They're all in there, um, it's a little more unorganized, but it worked better in this format. So just a couple quick things before we get to the first major talking point, which is the T-Rex and Spinosaurus fight. Uh, as you saw in the what was supposed to be the flyover at the beginning, I did include some species that aren't actually in the movie. Uh, their purpose is to represent the juveniles of certain species. I think Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Triceratops all have juvenile counterparts. And as you may have noticed as well, I used both the Nublar 93 map and Isla Sorna. I wanted to include both of them, and there were a few things on the Sorna map, like the Parasail and plane wreckage in particular that I needed to kind of move the story along. So, uh, yeah, it was like different sets or different filming locations, kind of. Hopefully that didn't throw anybody off too much. Coming up, the T-Rex and Spinosaurus fight. It's actually several confrontations all pieced together to make one fight, uh, that's why some of the wounds that they both species inflicted on each other disappear and then come back and whatnot. But uh, it was pretty hard to get decent shots. Um, the camera work is very janky, I guess, but uh, I think it kind of adds to the, the experience. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. So... Yeah, I, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, at one point, the T-Rex was actually going to kill the Spinosaurus, so I ended up using part of that animation right before the T-Rex gets killed. Um, it just so happens that they kind of went off camera, so it all worked out. Um, in regards to the skins, too, um, if there was a 2001 skin, I used it, and then I just kind of... Like the Brachiosaurus, I incorporated females in my mind, um, so I just made them like a similar greenish color. Uh, the Carithosaurus, I did two different versions of that. The ones in the flyover are the actual purple skin, and the ones by the embryonics facility, they're a different herd, so they're going to look a little different. Uh, the Yukon River skin, in my opinion, looks better than the purple one, but in the concept art, they're kind of purple, so... And then the, uh, coming up, the Embryonics facility. I know a lot of you don't have access to mixed eras because you're playing on older consoles, so... Really, the only thing that I can say about that is in the upper left of the screen that's one version of the embryonics facility that I built using all Jurassic Park era buildings uh, realistically if you swap the paleo medical facility out for another control center and or not control center science center and if you also swap out the staff center with another response facility the only difference is going to be the secondary Jurassic Park era response facility is going to take the place of the DFW Science Center. 
So really only one building difference. Um, you could literally do the same thing with the DFW set by itself. Uh, but, you know, this game is all about creativity. Uh, I just try to lay a foundation to kind of give people inspiration or ideas. Um, I appreciate it if you think my builds are that good that you want to do the exact same thing. But if you're not able to, there's always a workaround. You know, like by the airstrip, I used the, a few DFW decorations. Um, if you're in Jurassic Park era, the bathrooms are my go-to. They're the smallest building available. Um, you know, just play around with it. I am by no means the final say in any of this. Hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. In regards to, like, the, the plane attack, I could not come up with a decent way to recreate the Spinosaurus attacking the plane. So, I guess where it all really started was I attempted to do a first-person tour of the build, and it didn't turn out very well, so I ended up going through basically all of the previous methods that I had used, and nothing was really working out very well. I didn't feel like I was showing the build to its full potential. And I basically said, fuck it, I'm going to crudely, very crudely attempt to remake the movie. So, obviously there were certain parts that I couldn't do. I just, I worked around it. I tried to use the audio from the movie as much as I could. I didn't want to actually use the clips. I think it all turned out pretty well. Um, for those of you that are interested in seeing more film recreations in this game, I have linked two channels in the description of this video. They both do an amazing job at essentially like shot for shot scenes from the movies. I know some of you are familiar with the one, Alberto Builds. Uh, they're both really cool though. Um, I would check them out if you're into that kind of thing. There may be more, but these are the two most prominent ones that I have found. Check them out if you haven't already. I'm sure they will appreciate it. This video is pretty unique in that aspect of it's basically like a very condensed remake of the actual movie. So a uh, thing that bothers me the most about this entire video is the Ceratosaurus. It turned out very purple. It was too late by the time I realized what had happened, and I'm still not entirely sure if this is the reason for it, but I filmed that scene right after I had filmed the Spinosaurus attacking the non-existent boat, and there were still clouds and whatnot. So there was no quote-unquote natural light from the moon, or anything, and the entire shot was very dark, so when I tried to lighten it up so that, you know, we could see, the Ceratosaurus just kept getting more and more purple and blue. Um, the skin is pretty much dead on to the concept art, so, uh, one other thing before I forget, I included the overhead map of this build at the end of the video, so if anyone is interested in seeing how everything is laid out, I put the labels over the general areas for all of the uh, set pieces, if you will. It's a little hard to see because everything's kind of blue and whatnot, but you guys should get the idea. I know I've had some requests for the maps for the various builds. I'm trying to incorporate them into these videos. I'll figure out a way to do all of the other ones as well. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are watching this video and you haven't yet seen the video that I'm talking about, the little box should be popping up in the corner. That will take you to the video if you want to watch it. I had a lot of fun making this video and I would like to make more like this in the future so if you have any interest at all in seeing them 
uh, please subscribe to the channel. I would be forever grateful. Likes and comments are always appreciated as well. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. A lot of these days is hard to find.